Irrigating the orchard is one of the most critical functions in deciduous fruit growing. As a plant transpires, it gives off water from the leaves and takes up water from the soil to replace what it has lost. The basic rule of irrigation is that we irrigate when the soil starts to dry out. The feeder roots take up most of the water and in most deciduous fruit trees the feeder roots will be in the top 30 centimeters of the soil. The anchor roots do not take up much water. They serve mainly as an anchor for the tree. A simple method of determining if your irrigation program is efficient is to take a spade into the orchard and to dig holes to a depth of 30 centimeters quite close to the trees. Take a handful of soil and squeeze it in your fist. Well irrigated soil should bind into a clump in your hand when squeezed. If you open your hand and the soil falls apart, it's too dry and the orchard should be irrigated. A handheld auger can also be used to auger down to 30 centimeters and then bring up a core which can easily be tested by hand. The irrigation pattern is like a Morse code signal. Dot, 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 dash, dot, 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 dash. Three short bursts of water of about two hours each, and then one long irrigation of about six hours to wet the whole soil profile again. It's also very important not to waterlog the plant. While pears can live in waterlogged soil for up to a month before they will die, a peach tree will start having trouble within a day and the damage that has been caused will be permanent. There are various devices used to measure the amount of water in the soil. The wetting front detector is basically a funnel that is buried at the depth that you want the water to go to. If you want the water to get to 40 centimeters, you plant it at 40 centimeters, close the hole up, and as you irrigate, the funnel collects water pushing up a polystyrene pipe which floats up on the water as it rises in the funnel. Irrigating any longer than that means that you're wasting water. There are many other moisture measuring devices available. Tensure meters, neutron probes, DFM continuous water loggers and others. All of them have a role to play, but nothing replaces the value of physically getting into the orchard with a spade. One irrigation consultant tells the story that he would pay his irrigation man a bonus for every spade that he wore out during the year. There's nothing more valuable than getting out into the orchard and physically checking the soil moisture. When digging soil profile holes, look at the hair root development and if one sees a great deal of new white hair root development, then one can be sure that one's irrigation scheduling is correct. It's vital that the water applied to the orchard should reach the full spread and depth of the feeder roots to fully benefit the plant. Don't forget to watch the other movies on microjet and drip irrigation.